Hi guys and welcome to another video. Um, it's about the uh, classic as it turns to be uh, problem with the caps lock um, key on the Amiga's 500 as far as I've seen. I didn't know it was a big issue for many people. It was something that I thought it is just happening to me lately and I was postponing um, the investigation around it but now the time has come and um, as I was browsing over the internet I found out that there's a lot of people uh, facing the same trouble. My model is um, equipped with um, GoTech and so I was trying to um, uh, load something as you could see the caps lock now is uh, on and uh, I mean permanently on and um, I was trying to type something because this is the need for this particular game let's say to enter your name and stuff and so I found out that nothing can be uh, written in there uh, I cannot type anything um, so it's kind of stuck uh, and it's weird um, I'm going to try to reset it classic first thing that we do um, I'm with uh, no high hopes though oh yeah and uh, this is something uh, interesting it has been given me this uh, message lately and I believe it has something to do with the keyboard or the blinking caps lock LED uh, from time to time uh, it goes like three flashes and gone three flashes and stays on uh, some weird um, behavior and I really want to check uh, what is going on uh, if something has really some uh, something has gone bad on the keyboard circuitry or it's something that the Kotec or the ROM itself uh, is doing to the machine or it's something uh, coming from the main board as a signal or as a diagnostic uh, signal uh, for the user to get to know that there's something really wrong with the RAM or whatever but I'm not really convinced that this is something that has to do with diagnostics coming from the machine so I'm tapping around it the keys uh, around it maybe it's, it will stop uh, but nothing happens so to uh, make it clear I have just uh, replaced the membrane and I checked the keys about a month ago and on top of that I was checking the lead uh, the legs of the lead so there is no uh, dry joint or anything and after a couple of resets you see now it has changed behavior we got three uh, blinks three flashes and cannot be stopped and uh, <laughs> it changes every time after a couple of resets or something so you cannot tell uh, how it's going to be how it turns out uh, and I'm now uh, in the root um, directory uh, just I need to uh, identify the uh, numbers for the games and all that stuff and I'm curious to see if the rest of the keys are working and so we eliminated uh, the membrane thing uh, the lead um, dry joints or anything uh, contacts uh, still loading and still blinking it's a weird weird behavior and I, I'm sure I'm feeling sure and I, I'm guessing actually that it has uh, something to do with a keyboard and the keyboard only uh, but of course uh, I have to uh, unscrew the uh, upper part again so we have uh, to go under the hood and uh, start checking around this bunch of cables um, going to the motherboard uh, from the keyboard should have had a better connection I mean a socket on the side of the keyboard but instead they are hardwired this is kind of by design if you ask me not practical at all um, anyways I, I will be looking for any loose uh, um, connections or dry joints the controller is something that the AMOS um, integrated circuit there is something that rarely fails so I'll flip it over uh, in a while start looking for dry joints um, and um, let's see what we can do I can already see a ceramic capacitor here with some stains around it 
could be something out of some leakage or I don't know could be dirt there you go so some stuff is around brown stuff around the capacitor um, I do not expect this to be faulty as it is a very very simple component but you never know other side as well so here's the deal I'm going to clean it as uh, far as I can and then I will apply of course uh, alcohol around it and clean it better and so I was thinking maybe uh, we can go one by one all the stages that could be the case for uh, s such an issue and so um, we can make a list so component side mm, I wouldn't say uh, it's uh, something that might happen often but uh, I would rather start with a, a keyboard connector I mean the membrane uh, I would go over to the cables the bunch of cables that go to the motherboard and then I should probably uh, move to the controller um, IC itself oh and before I go to the IC uh, I should change the list a dry joints loose connections and stuff like that uh, looking at the both sides uh, mostly the bottom side of the PCB um, if, because after all these years you never know what might be happening um, it's 1987 we're talking about right so well, I don't know what this is probably dirt uh, instead of any kind of leakage going on there so um, let's start with uh, the membrane connection and uh, we can go then uh, one by one the rest of the suspects but before that we need to remove the protective plastic from the bottom side uh, non-contactive in case uh, something is get in touch with uh, in contact with the uh, metal case just to be on the safe side I have found already a couple of uh, capacitors matching the values for the capacitor that we've seen uh, before but I really don't think this is going to be the case just it's nice to have in any case if we run out of ideas and the list is over you never know so let's start with a list uh, here is the ribbon connector suspect number one for me uh, as I said I changed it about a month ago or so um, with a second hand one but uh, again it was working fine and um, I remember very well I cleaned it uh, and with uh, an eraser and I was uh, checking the contact points and it doesn't seem absolutely straight to me now today but um, I could swear it was working for a month or so and maybe I don't know maybe this uh, last contact on the right side uh, is not straight at all but the rest are looking great so maybe I can just flip it a bit up and see if this side doesn't get in contact with the keyboard socket on the PCB side and uh, sure enough I loaded intentionally loaded a game that needs some kind of um, input and uh, <laughs> we can see it's still on and stays on I was hoping I could press N or L for new game or load game whatever I could hit but uh, yeah it wasn't that simply like that so let's move to number two uh, the cables uh, the keyboard connector cables look what I have found uh, looking under the zip tie unbelievable the purple one magenta or however you want to call it is damaged so I found a matching piece of cable and I'm going to cut it right there and replace the part that goes to uh, the keyboard because it's shorter and I don't believe this is something that happened because of the zip tie but again you never know if Murphy is around the corner then phew, what can I say and it's uh, number eight anyways the thing is that uh, the purple cable I'm going to uh, replace it the, this part 
I have uh, removed it and I'm going to place another piece of the same color uh, from the PCB to the keyboard. But uh, this uh, car is the um, uh, current for, and it's actually not completely damaged, so this is not the case. Uh, but it carries the light for the drive, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, of course, get rid of the zip tie and. Uh, I'm going to uh, number three uh, on the list, which is uh, re-flowing all soldering points around the PCB. Uh, I have uh, prepared hot coffee, and I'm going to do this in a while. Uh, I won't uh, be uh, uh, replacing any other cables or. Uh, something uh, I checked the um, this zip tie on the other side. It's tight, but it looks okay. I checked also the cables with the multimeter set to continuity, and everything is beeping. And uh, apparently, the purple one was beeping too. But I'm going to change it either way. What I got, I got uh, seven beeps in a row. So I think uh, we are good with the rest of the remaining cables. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, I strongly suggest uh, you guys go ahead and uh, reflow uh, the soldering points underneath the PCB if you have your Amiga open and uh, uh, yeah, you, you you are facing the same trouble, same issue. I'm going to do the same in a while. But first, I will pre uh, prepare the cable. So, what we got here? Wow! I think we have a <laughs> fine work in caps lock key. After all, <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure which solder point that was, but I intentionally again loaded an adventure game, so it requires text, <laughs> so I can check the input. Uh, trying to check on keys all this time. <laughs> of course this guy cannot understand anything but I was trying um, sentences and I was trying several keys and all keys uh, seem to be working just fine along with uh, the, the caps lock uh, key after all. So I really I'm not sure which solder point that was and I'm sorry guys I didn't do it uh, step by step, but at least uh, we know for sure that it was uh, number three from the list uh, what you should uh, check uh, if you are facing trouble with your cups key uh, on your Omega and apparently I'm very happy now I got it back uh, in operation like it should be, I'm touching around it so I can see there is no uh, somehow uh, going bad again and uh, it's not the case yeah, it doesn't look like it's getting uh, short somewhere so I think we're good uh, for the day and I strongly suggest you go ahead and uh, reflow all the joints especially around the keyboard controller uh, not to mention the rest of the components at least that's what I did and I got the uh, these uh, great results. So I resoldered uh, all points around the uh, keyboard controller chip. So I guess that was all for today. It was a quick, uh, but I have to admit, easy and quick fix and lucky, most of all, fix. So I'll be catching you soon with another video. Thanks again for watching. Consider subscribing uh, if you haven't done that yet. And um, yeah, I'll be catching you soon with another video and another system review or repair soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.